Shirley from the Transform in 21 program. If you're watching this video, that only means one thing. You've made the incredible commitment of improving your health with our 21 day transformative program. And for that, I want to commend you. I want to start by saying thank you. Thank you so much to all of you who are trusting us with your health. This is a responsibility that we do not take lightly, and we promise that we will be here the entire time holding your hand to ensure you have a successful journey. So thank you so much. Robin says, the only impossible journey is the one that you never begin. There are so many people suffering out there because they really just never begin their journey to health. And so I just want to say I'm so proud of each and every one of you that have made this commitment. And it is going to be an incredible journey that we look forward to sharing with you. And I want to assure you that you can do this and we are going to hold your hand the entire time. You just have to believe in yourself and stay in good communication with us. If you're struggling, let us know. Reach out on the closed Facebook page. Talk to Detox Ambassadors. We want to support you the entire way and we know that you can do this. So just stay tight. And remember, it's not too late for you to get other people, friends and family, signed up on this incredible journey with you. If you're participating in our group program, we can often get people signed up even as late as a couple days into the program. So if you are interested in having someone sign up, just send us an email and see if it's too late and we'll let you know. I just ask that you please make sure you watch this entire video. One of the biggest mistakes people make is they just try to wing the program or they just read the bottles thinking all the instructions are on there. That does not work. The instructions are not the same on the products as they are for the program. Uh, and so you really just need to make sure you watch this entire video, read the entire program guide in the members only section of the website to make sure you're going to get the best possible results. I just want to remind you, if you're pregnant or nursing, you cannot do a detox program. Uh, we certainly can set you up on some type of a healthy nutritional program, but you cannot do a detox program. In this presentation, we're going to be covering the following topics. We're going to teach you how to set yourself up for success, what to expect, how the coaching works, potential symptoms that you can experience as you're going through the first portion of the detox, what you can eat and drink, how to exercise, how to use the supplements properly, tools for success, and we're going to go through the prizes for those that are participating in the contest portion of the program. Next, we're going to talk about how you can go about getting help if you have an issue in the middle of the program. So let's say, for example, you're going through and you have a question uh, or maybe you're having a concern and you're not sure what to do about it. Your first step is to go to the website detoxwiththedocs.com and go to the members only section. In there, you will be able to access the program guide, which is a written description of how to do the pro program properly. Then we have the frequently asked questions video section and what you're going to do there is watch brief videos that have different topics of things that people struggle with throughout the program. We've put a lot of time into designing these videos so that you can give very quick answers to any concerns that may come up. Now, once you've done both of those, you're going to go and post in our private Facebook page. Okay, so if you still haven't gotten your answer, post your question and you will have so many different people that can answer your question very quickly for you. I am monitoring the page. We have other coaches. We have detox ambassadors, detox alumni, even other participants. And this is a great way to get an answer very, very quickly. Now, if that doesn't work, then and only then will you please send us an email. 
okay? Now, the reason we want to try to keep the emails down is because there may be certain people that have specific questions that really need to get answered very quickly. And if we're getting a lot of emails that could easily be answered from these other methods, it's just going to slow down our ability to be able to answer those questions that are really needed at that time. So please make sure um, you, know, you email us only after doing those first two steps. The other thing I want to point out is that calling us is actually a much slower method of getting an answer than sending an email. Uh, calls really can only be answered during business hours and with the email I will be monitoring that all weekend, uh, day and night. So that's definitely a much quicker way. So please do not call. Now if we feel your concern is something that requires a lot of communication then we'll just decide to give you a call and we can set up a time to do that. Okay, let's talk about the daily emails. Now you're going to be receiving them every morning really early because we really want you to be able to read these before you go off to work and before you start your day because we're going to give you a lot of important information like what to expect today, tips for success, the daily inspirational guide, which guys, this is a really integral part of the total transformation. This is not just about transforming your body, it's transforming your mind, your spirit, it's a total transformational experience and a lot of that is going to come from these emails. So please take them very seriously and read them. And remember, there's going to be two parts of the inspiration guide. We have the self-help version, which is going to have a lot of Tony Robbins and different self-help type people, uh, information from them. We will also have a faith-based version from a Christian perspective. Now, we understand if you're not Christian or you're uncomfortable with that, you don't have to read it. It is just an option. Now, if you are comfortable, I highly recommend you read both the self-help and the faith-based version because obviously if we didn't think it was beneficial, we wouldn't include it. But you certainly do not have to. This is not a Christian program. Um, we just know that there's a lot of people that really find inspiration from Bible verses and different motivational things uh, you know, that do come from the Bible. So we would encourage you if you're willing to read that do, but you really don't have to. Detox ambassadors. So our detox ambassadors are cheerleaders. These are awesome past participants who have really rocked the program. They've done an amazing job and they've shown leadership skills and the ability to really help people and to really show that they have a heart for helping people. And that was really important to us when we chose our detox ambassadors. And they're meant to be encouragers. They're there to encourage you maybe when you're struggling or if you're, you have a question, they're gonna help answer questions. They're also there to just help support you. And like I said, to answer questions, which is a really important role that they're going to be playing during this program. And so please feel free to reach out to them with any questions and for help or support. So next we're going to talk about utilizing the website, the Detox with the Docs website. We have put a lot of work into trying to make this a place where you can have access to all the best tools that can make your health journey even more successful. So let's see what we have available here. First is our program guide. This is what you're going to follow the entire 21 days. So you just find that on the members page of our website, detoxwithadocs.com. Make sure you read it thoroughly from the beginning to the end and understand everything before you get started to avoid those big mistakes that people will sometimes make. Uh, scroll down uh, to the paperwork and resources section on the members only page to find this important resource. Then you're going to click the group detox program guide and I think that you will find that we did a great job with this and you're really going to enjoy using it. It's laid out very nicely and very organized. Uh, it's going to talk about what to expect on the program. It's going to give you some awesome time-saving tips and we're going to talk about how to get you on a path to massive success. It has valuable resources like emails and contact information uh, for different practitioners that we work with and different services, what to eat and drink. And it will also have your supplement schedule, which is very important. Do not follow what is on the bottles. Make sure you follow the program guide. There are two different sections for supplements. There is day one through seven 
and day eight through 21, which are very different, but we're gonna get into the details of that shortly. Um, and at this point, every one of you should have checked to make sure there are no drug herb interactions uh, with any medications you may be taking and the one bottle of herbal supplements that you will be taking on this program. Go to the members only section and there's a description there on how to go about checking for interactions as well as additional tips for people taking specific types of medications. Okay, let's go through some time saving tips. First of all, make up your ingredients for your shake in advance. So you can take little Pyrex dishes and you can uh, put your avocado if you wanna add that to your shake. You can add your berries or whatever you're gonna put in there. Um, and you can just keep it in the freezer and then when it's time, you take it out, put it in with the water and there you go. You've got your shake ready to roll. You can make up a big salad a couple days in advance so that you can just basically keep taking out of the salad bowl each day. Now obviously you don't want to go too far in advance because it won't be fresh, but that can be a nice uh, time saver as well. Uh, when you do start adding protein, consider boiling a bunch of eggs or cutting up some chicken strips and, and, and frying them up in a frying pan so that they're ready where you can just throw them on your salad. And again, that's something that can save you time so you're not doing it every single time. You also uh, want to keep in mind that with avocados, they really don't go bad as quickly as people think they do. Uh, what happens is they just start to get a little brown on the outside, but if you scrape that off, the avocado is still actually good. And if you store it with the pit in it, uh, it will actually stay a lot longer. So just a little extra aside there. Um, you can make your supplements up in advance. So you know how many supplements you're gonna be taking. So you could do them up at the beginning of the week and then you only have to deal with it basically once a week. Uh, and I really wanna encourage you to watch the Ready, Set, Detox video that's posted in the members section. This has a lot of additional time-saving tips and it's a great video to get you started on the program. Okay, let's talk about some potential detox symptoms that you could have anywhere from day one to day five. The good news is, guys, if you're gonna feel sick at all, it's not gonna be for very long. It might be just for a day, a couple hours, maybe a couple days, worst case scenario. But most of the time on this program, you're actually gonna be feeling really, really good. So let's talk about some of those things that could potentially bother you on the detox. The most common uh, side effects, if you will, are fatigue. I've had people tell me that on a detox one night they slept like 15 hours. The body heals when you're trying to go through a detox program and it just wants to sleep so that the body can go through that healing process. So fatigue is one of the most common symptoms. Headaches is also a common thing. Usually this comes along with the caffeine withdrawal, so hopefully you eased off the caffeine, but if you didn't, you might get some headaches or you might just get some typical detox headaches as well. Luckily for those of you that have uh, gotten a detox survival kit from us, uh, there would be a little uh, headache essential oil in there that you can actually uh, smell and that will actually help alleviate some of the detox symptoms as far as headaches are concerned. Um, but obviously if there's any contraindication to you, any of those oils, just don't use that. Uh, getting grumpy or irritable, this is common too, okay? So there's one or two days where people are not gonna wanna be around you, bottom line. Your spouse may ask you to go to a hotel for a couple days, um, but the good news is we've actually had people say that this detox has saved their marriage and that is absolutely true. So eventually, you get nicer again, so this is a good thing. But you might be a little grumpy or irritable to begin with. Less common uh, detox symptoms include occasional nausea. Yes, you may occasionally feel nauseous as your liver is kicking out all those toxins. You may get a little bit of cramping, so you might feel you know, like you're getting some cramps in your abdomen. As long as they're not intense, uh, you're fine. Mild diarrhea. If people get diarrhea, it's usually just mild a couple times. This is one of the biggest questions I get all the time. Am I gonna have to live on the toilet? Very few people have that experience. And if you do have that experience, it's usually only for a day, maybe two if you're really, really toxic, but not something to really be worrying about. Aches and pains. This is very common. Um, usually this comes a little later, maybe after day six. Uh, usually that is a sign of needing to add some protein. And so if you're getting to that point where you're starting to get those aches and pains, uh, make sure you're drinking a lot of water, but you might wanna consider adding a little bit of the animal-based protein at that point. 
Um, less common, we're going to continue with the less common side effects here, uh, mild vomiting. Once in a while, people will throw up once or twice. And honestly, people that do feel better quicker. So that's something to welcome. The main thing is don't let yourself get dehydrated, which again, I mean, we've done this with thousands of people. And I think once we had someone who really threw up quite a bit, um, but usually it's just once or twice, not a big deal. Rashes, skin breakouts, those types of things can definitely occur, uh, but usually you work through those pretty quickly. If you're having an issue and it's not going away after a couple days, just reach out to us. There's also a video about rashes in the frequently asked questions section. Sinus draining and sometimes initially feeling congested because remember your sinuses are just empty cavities in your skull that store toxins and as your body's releasing them, it's gotta come out. So you might just start draining, which is a good thing. Feeling cold. This is something that usually comes a little later, maybe after day six, and can often be a sign of needing to add some protein. Gas and bloating. And pretty much anything can be a symptom, okay? However, you do need to use uh, common sense because you can have things that are not good going on as well. But make sure you check our frequently asked questions section for any symptoms you're having. And if it's not there uh, and you're concerned, reach out to us. But again, just know that you can have unrelated health symptoms. Listen guys, the bottom line is if your number's up, your number's up, and it doesn't matter if you're detoxing, if you're eating at McDonald's, it doesn't really matter. You are gonna have whatever kind of health issue you're gonna have. So if all of a sudden you're feeling crushing chest pain, don't think, oh, it's probably the detox, because this is not a symptom of the detox. You do not get crushing chest pain. So please, be smart. If you're having any major symptoms that seem like they could be life-threatening, go to the ER and then you can call me afterward once they clear you and we'll figure out if it could be related. But again, just be smart about these types of things. All right, improvements that you should start to be noticing around day five or six. Increased energy, deeper sleep, weight loss will begin, less hunger, less cravings, improved digestion, reduction in inches, that's always a great one, less aches and pains, less inflammation, improved skin, hair and nails, improved circulation, decreased swelling. Now these are things that you'll start to notice. I'm not saying they're gonna be perfect by day five or six, but by the time you get to day 10, you should pretty much start feeling like a brand new person. If not, we'll talk about what could be causing that. So let's get into what you can eat and drink on the program. Listen, the bottom line is you can pretty much eat everything except for just a couple things. I don't want you to focus on what you can't eat. I want you to focus on what you can eat because there's a lot of stuff you can eat. But the general goal is consume large amounts of raw or slightly steamed nutrient dense high fiber vegetables, moderate amounts of good fats, the amount of protein your body is asking for, but we're gonna teach you how to know that in a little bit. Uh, but those are the general goals, just keep those in mind. And I do ask that all of you keep a food journal where you log everything that you're eating because if you are struggling with something at some point, it's gonna help us to be able to help you. So just write it down in case a problem arises and it'll allow us to help come up with a remedy for your problem. You can access one in the members only section. We have a paper version that you can print and we have an electronic version for all you techies that rather do it on your phone, okay? Okay, so let's talk about good fats. It's very important that you add moderate amounts of good fat into this detox because it helps you to produce hormones, it helps you to burn fat, it's very important. So what are some examples of good fat? Grass-fed butter. So I brought a couple examples here. Now most of you are familiar with Kerrygold. This is found in a lot of different stores and this is really a great option. But what we found is that there is another option that is a little less expensive and is actually 100% grass-fed. Kerrygold is mostly grass-fed from my understanding and research, um, but this one, which we got at Aldi's, it's called Countryside Creamery Pure Irish Butter. Um, this is 100% grass-fed and it's about half the price so again none of these uh, companies are sponsors of ours but we just wanted to make sure these are the things you can find in our kitchen so we just wanted to share that with you um, and again that one is at Aldi's so uh, we also uh, encourage MCT oil coconut oil avocado and avocado oil 
olive oil and grapeseed oil. Now, if you're cooking uh, with oils, I highly recommend that you uh, check out Dr. Joe's video on the different types of uh, oils that you can cook with and understanding how certain oils are meant to be used with higher temperatures of cooking and others should be used with lower temperatures. You should only use butter either cold or really low temperatures where something like um, coconut oil or avocado oil is actually the best because you can use very high temperatures with avocado oil before it turns into a trans fat or a bad fat. Uh, so those are examples there. Um, but these are the fats you need to avoid. Trans fats, hydrogenated oils, no french fries. Now the only exception to french fries on the detox is you can make your own homemade uh, sweet potato fries where you slice the, the sweet potato and then you bake them in the oven. Um, those would, that would really be one of your only options as far as french fries would be concerned. Um, and then chips. You want to avoid chips, but again, you can make like uh, your own chips in your oven. You can take little pieces of sweet potato and really thin and bake them. You could do slices of zucchini. I've heard of people doing eggplant. Um, there's lots of recipes out there, uh, probably even on our Facebook page. Uh, Try to avoid all fried foods. Canola oil is yucky. Soy is not good for you. Corn oil, vegetable oil, margarine is awful. Don't go anywhere near margarine. Uh, and anything else that's not listed as an acceptable oil in our uh, program guide. Drink plenty of water, at least half your body weight in fluid ounces. Remember, water cleanses. So you need to drink a lot of water. You can also have some naturally decaffeinated green tea and herbal types of tea. Um, you have to make sure that it's a good quality. Don't get anything that's not organic because there are a lot of chemicals and things that are added to these types of things. You can make a lemon limeade drink, which the recipe is listed in your program guide, and you're gonna use about 10 ounces of water two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now I wanna show you the apple cider vinegar that we recommend. Again, they're not sponsoring this program or anything, but this is what we use. It's Bragg's apple cider vinegar. It's unpasteurized and it has the mother at the bottom. The mother is this kind of a sediment looking material at the bottom. And that's really where most of the benefit comes from. So you don't want filtered uh, apple cider vinegar, very important. Lemon or lime, whatever your preference. I like lemon, but whatever you like. Four to eight drops of liquid stevia, and you wanna make sure it's all natural stevia with nothing else added. And then one important thing with this drink is apple cider vinegar is fantastic, but it can be a little rough on the enamel on your teeth. So after every sip, you should follow it and swish around uh, water in your mouth so that you can rinse down and neutralize some of that acid. But it's very good for you for weight loss, for digestive problems like reflux, all kinds of cool stuff. Apple cider vinegar is awesome. So on our website, under the, the members only section, we have a sample menu that you can take a look at. We're not gonna go through it right now, but you can certainly take a look at that. Avoid sugar, refined foods, refined fats, alcohol, starchy foods, and most grains, and keep allowable uh, grains limited. Now, we do allow some grains. The reason for that is because there are people that don't wanna lose weight or can't afford to lose weight, or maybe they need a little bit of a higher calorie uh, diet for some reason. But if you're trying to lose weight, and if you don't really need them, we recommend avoiding grains. We do allow pseudo grains as well, um, and we'll talk about those in a, a little bit later. And also avoid excessive fruit. It's still sugar, okay? just a little bit of fruit and you should be good to go. Salad dressings. There, you, we're gonna be giving you a lot of uh, different recipes for salad dressings on our Pinterest page. Um, you can find different ones as long as they're using oils that are good for you that we listed in the acceptable oil uh, list. Uh, another one, if you want a pre-made one, the Bragg's, like the apple cider vinegar company, they make some awesome salad dressings that have really good oils. And the problem is salad dressings are usually loaded with sugar and they most of them use soy oil, which is just really, really bad. And go easy, do not get something that's high in sugar. Sweeteners, uh, avoid high fructose corn syrup, all artificial sweeteners like Splendor, NutraSweet, et cetera, dextrose and sugar cane. You are allowed to have stevia, naturally processed, and only stevia, nothing else in it. Monk fruit, 
dates, small amounts of xylitol are acceptable, but it can cause a gastric upset. So only very small amounts and very infrequently, only when you really have a dessert, uh, you know, craving that you can't get rid of and we'll give you different recipes that you could utilize that with. Um, coffee. Now, listen, I understand that coffee is a very important part of many people's lives, um, but the good news is the detox is going to give you a lot of energy, uh, so you're not going to really have to rely on that coffee after all. So this is a good thing, but if you're one of those people that just really loves the taste of coffee and you're not relying on it for energy, here are some alternatives. Uh, Dandy Blend. This is dandelion a mixture actually and it's really awesome I love it it's something that a local restaurant uh, serves here in the Oneonta area and I have been utilizing it now for over a year and I love it um, you can uh, mix it and turn it into a latte you can do all different kind of fun things with it but that's called dandy blend and you want to get the organic version uh, Ticino uh, you can find that in a local health food store that is another one that tastes very similar to coffee uh, you could also replace it with just some hot water and lemon if you just want that warmth and also naturally decaffeinated green tea. So let's talk about sweets and treats. So we do now allow once in a while a little bit of organic homemade whipped cream. Now cream does not have sugar where milk actually is loaded with sugar but cream doesn't have sugar and if you get it organic and you're only using a little bit as long as you don't have a dairy sensitivity we find it to be an acceptable thing that you can add on the detox just don't go crazy with it you know maybe every couple days or so having a little bit on a drink or on something however you want to uh, experience it it, it can be helpful and can help get you through some of those sugar cravings. Uh, organic dark chocolate. Yes, I did say that. We feel that a little bit of organic dark chocolate will be okay on the detox. Uh, but you want to make sure it's at least 85%. Personally, I prefer 90%, um, but at least 85% and only a little bit. And you shouldn't do it every day. It should be one of those things that helps keep you from going to the Snickers bar or something like that, all right? So just something, a little treat once in a while. Keto chocolate would be even better because there's no sugar at all. And if you got the Detox Survival Kit, we gave you a little sample. One is peppermint and one is just plain uh, in the kit that we gave you. Organic cocoa nibs, you can put that on some yogurt in the morning. Then you can take uh, your SP Complete Shake and you can actually freeze it if you got the chocolate or the vanilla and it's kind of like an ice cream treat. Uh, we will be posting allowable dessert recipes in our Transform in 21 Detox Facebook page. Uh, this is the public page, not the closed page. So make sure you follow us on that page as well. And every Friday, we're going to be posting a dessert recipe. And then every other day of the week for the entire 21 days, we'll be posting like an entree uh, recipe for you. And it will be posted on our Pinterest page after that. Fruit, you know, this is something you can have, but minimal amounts. If you're gonna be putting it in your shake, because if you purchase the plain shake, uh, you will need to blend some stuff into it. I, I, you're not gonna be able to drink it plain. I mean, once in a blue moon, someone enjoys it plain, but it really doesn't have a very good taste by itself. Most people need to put a little bit of fruit in it um, and just try to stick with the berries because they tend to have the least amount of sugar. Uh, raw nuts, you can have macadamias, pecans, walnuts, almonds, you can have some almond butter with an apple, that's a really nice treat, but just don't go crazy because it will give you gas and bloating and if you eat too much of it, you're going to get a lot of extra calories and you just your, your stomach won't feel very good either if you eat a lot. Uh, now dairy. This is something that is a little bit controversial. Now I want you to listen to the advice of your practitioner. If your practitioner referred you to this program, if they've asked you to avoid dairy or you know that you're sensitive to dairy, do not include dairy. But what we have found is for people that are not sensitive to it, okay, and that's important. If you feel like you're burping a lot after you eat dairy or you get a stomach ache or you just don't feel good, do not include dairy on the detox and don't include it in your life at all. But if you know for sure you are not sensitive and you have to go with organic and you cannot do this daily, I don't want you having, you know, with the exception of yogurt, I don't want you having dairy on a daily basis. 
um, and you want to do small amounts. But you can have raw cheese every couple days, maybe an ounce or two, just don't go crazy. A little bit of heavy cream every couple days. Um, even organic sour cream, but make sure it doesn't have any additives. If you can find a really good, you know, organic uh, sour cream, a tiny bit here and there is okay. Uh, the grass-fed butter, that can also be used daily. Uh, and the plain yogurt can be utilized daily. Now, the yogurt, we recommend uh, Maple Hill Farms. Uh, this is a company that is available in numerous different stores, uh, and they are one of the least processed that you can buy in a grocery store. Now, if you have access to a raw yogurt, maybe a farmer makes it, that's fantastic. Just make sure they're a really good, clean facility. Um, but otherwise, we would recommend going with the Maple Hill Farms if you can access it. Um, but no milk cream cheese, non-organic dairy, and avoid if your practitioner prefers that you not have it. Potassium is a very important thing on the detox. Every single day, we want you to eat a half to a full avocado every day. That's if you're not allergic. Unfortunately, avocados are one of the healthiest foods out there, but if you have a latex allergy, you may have an allergic reaction, so be very cautious with this. Uh, kiwi is another uh, product that is in that family, so if you're allergic to kiwi, most likely you'll be allergic to avocado. Now, avocado is full of potassium. It's one of your highest uh, potassium-containing foods uh, that you can consume, and the reason we encourage it is it helps you to get rid of that bad fluid, that toxic fluid weight, um, and so it really is a magic bullet for weight loss. So if Depending on the size of your body, between a half to a full avocado every day is great. One of the best ways is to just blend it into your shake. All it does is make your shake a little thicker. If you don't like it thick, just add more water. Um, but some people really don't like the taste of avocado. It's actually really plain, but some people put a little bit of sea salt and, and uh, pepper on it. That's acceptable. There's a lot of different recipes, but if you really don't like it, just blend it in your shake and you won't even notice it. But it's a huge huge help when it comes to losing weight. Um, also, if you're getting muscle cramps or anything like that, it's gonna be helpful with that as well. Now, let's talk about grains. This is another one that can be a little bit controversial. We don't want you consuming grains if you don't have to, all right? If you want to lose weight, avoid the grains and even avoid the pseudo grains. Um, the pseudo grains are better, but definitely avoid the grains. If you're a diabetic, you want to avoid grains. Uh, and really, I'm only including a couple of them because there are certain people that can't afford to lose weight. They really need to get their calorie count up for different reasons. Um, or maybe they have a very physical job and they feel like they need a few carbs in their system. Um, but you really don't need to include these and you really shouldn't unless you have to. But let's go through some acceptable versions of grains and pseudo grains. Uh, quinoa is one of the best pseudo grains. That means it's not really a grain, it's actually a seed. And so this is a fantastic option. Buckwheat noodles. Keep in mind, buckwheat is not wheat. It does not have gluten. That's not what it is. Steel cut oats. Rice, you could do brown or wild rice. And so like I said, just try to keep it limited. If you do, don't, try not to do it every day, only maybe a couple times a week, uh, but keep it totally eliminated if your practitioner wants you to avoid them or if you're really trying to lose weight. So let's talk about protein. Now, if you fell asleep at this point, please wake up now because this is one of the most important parts that I am gonna go through with you today. How to know when to add more protein. Now, what's really cool about the Transform in 21 program is that we've customized it for you as an individual. And what I mean by that is that you, we're not doing exactly the same thing with every single person. It is really gonna be based on your body and your body's needs. But for you to be successful, you have to really know what your body is saying to you and how to interpret that. So let's go through that right now. If after about five or six days, remember, if you're gonna suffer at all on this program, it should only be the first five or six days. After day six, if you're not feeling a little bit better, um, if you're start, you're still feeling fatigued, if you're lightheaded, dizzy, have brain fog where it's hard to think, you're cold easily, usually that's because your blood sugar gets kind of low, have increased hair loss, muscle aches, pains, cramps, excessive cravings for protein or sleep problems, or if you're not losing weight or inches by day five or six, 
add the least amount of protein to get the desired result. So basically, you're going to start with something like an egg. Now again, if your practitioner doesn't want you consuming eggs, if you're allergic, if you're sensitive, then don't start there. But if you're not sensitive to them, you start by adding like a half an egg in the morning. If by the end of the day you're not feeling better, add another half of an egg. If the next day you're not feeling better, add chicken or fish or turkey or something like that. The best order is start with eggs, then go to fish, then go to chicken or turkey, and only add beef if you absolutely have to. There is going to be the occasion, especially women, if you're on your menstrual cycle, sometimes you really just need that iron, uh, then you could consider adding a tiny, tiny bit, but it has to be organic, grass-fed. Do not just grab something from the shelf at a traditional grocery store and think that that's gonna be healthy for you. It has to be grass-fed and organic, but try to avoid beef. Uh, and red meats if you can. You can also uh, include things like venison. In our area, there's a lot of people that hunt and wild game is also acceptable, but your program guide discusses all of that. But the key here, guys, is listen to your body. If you are not feeling good by day five or six, you're not doing yourself a service by suffering through. Add a little bit, and then if just a half an egg makes you feel like a million bucks, keep the half an egg in every single day until that doesn't work. Then you start feeling tired or having any of these symptoms, add a little bit more protein and then add a little bit more. The biggest mistake people make is not adding protein when they should or not adding enough when they continue to have symptoms. So if you add a little bit and, oh, it just doesn't seem to be working, don't just assume you're just meant to feel like garbage the rest of your life. Keep adding more. Now, the other mistake people make is they just get bored mentally and they just want animal-based protein and they add it too early, okay? That's where you really need to have these symptoms memorized. Memorize these symptoms. And when you experience them, know that it's your body talking to you about the need for program. Don't mess this part up because it will have a drastic effect on your results. It will slow your weight loss if you don't add protein when you should, and if you add it early and earlier than you should, it'll actually mess it up too. So this is really important, especially for people that want to lose weight. Now, if you're the type of person who's very, very thin, you may only be able to go a couple days without protein, but try to go at least three or four days if you can, if you're super thin and you can't afford to lose weight. If you start to lose weight, then just start adding the protein in. Um, but again, if you need help customizing it, you can certainly reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you with that. Beans and lentils, this is another thing that we do allow, but reluctantly, okay? Beans and lentils can be very carbohydrate-y and you want to go very easy with them uh, if having them at all. Again, if you're diabetic, trying to lose weight, avoid these. But, you know, if you wanna one day make a nice homemade chili, a small little bowl is, is not necessarily a bad thing, but don't go crazy with it. Now guys, this part is extremely, extremely important. Um, I Again, I've done this a long time, and one of the things that I've seen time and time again is people are going through, they're doing a great job with their program, and then someone invites them to go out for a drink, and they think, well, I'm just gonna have some water, and then they see that glass of wine or that beer, and they're like, oh man, it's just gonna be one. And they're in the middle of a detox, and they have a glass of alcohol. The problem with this is when you're detoxing, you actually are going to have a lower tolerance to alcohol. So maybe if at one point it took three or four beers to get you drunk, it might actually only take you one, okay? So please know that your tolerance will be decreased not only during a detox, but after a detox. And this is a good thing because your body's healthier and it knows quicker that you just put poison in your body and it wants to try to get rid of it very quickly, okay? Listen guys, I know everyone wants to convince themselves that wine is a health food, but it's really not. There's nothing in wine you can't get in grapes. And so if you're really wanting the health benefits, have a couple grapes, all right? But bottom line is do not drink on the detox. The average person after cheating with a glass of wine will gain three pounds, okay? So that's on a detox and off a detox. When I have people doing nutritional programs, they'll come in and I see that their weight went up a few pounds. What'd you do this weekend? 
oh, I had a couple glasses of wine. Is it worth that extra three pounds? You make that decision. But I would hate to see you get yourself in a situation where you hurt yourself or someone else. That's why we wanted to make sure you're aware of that. Do not try to get pregnant when you are detoxing. That is not healthy for the fetus, okay? So please, if you're trying to get pregnant, Stop trying and do not try again until about a month after your detox program so that all those circulating toxins have time to, to settle and be eliminated. Um, and also, many women have reported being extra fertile during a detox. So if you're trying not to get pregnant and you think, oh, well, I've struggled and I haven't been able to get pregnant in the past, Please do not assume that you will not be able to get pregnant. So please use protection and try to, um, you know, really be very, very cautious about that because I do not want you to get pregnant in the middle of a program and then have some issues with the child. Because remember, you're stirring up all of these toxins. So please be very careful with that. Get plenty of rest while you're on the detox because your body needs to heal. Exercise. First week, we wanna be very, very light on the exercise. You want light aerobic exercise about four times a week or even more, okay? If you can exercise every day, that's great. After week one, just listen to your body. If you're working out and then you get done and you're exhausted, you did too much. The goal is you should feel good after a workout, not like you have to go take a three hour nap, okay? So included in this program are amazing virtual online exercise classes with our friend Erica. Erica is a spitfire. She is awesome. This girl is, her, her enthusiasm is just contagious and I love her and she's so enthusiastic and she loves what she does. If you want to be a part of this, and actually this is a part of the program, I want you to participate in these free classes. Go to the members section of, the, uh, of our website and you'll see Zoom workouts uh, listed and it'll have her phone number and you can access her uh, and private message her through Facebook. Her name is Erica Cruz, but all that information's in the members only section. So just basically go there um, and you'll be able to access her. And remember guys, exercise is mandatory. This is great because she does it via Zoom. You can do it in your own privacy of your own house, in your bedroom, wherever you wanna do it. And she will be recording these sessions for those of you across the country that are in different time zones. You'll have no problem accessing this and I guarantee you, you will love it. And you can do it the first week and you should do it the first week and the second and the third week, the entire time. Uh, it, but what you do need to do is listen to your body. If you notice you're halfway through a session and you're feeling really tired, just stop and then pick up again the next time, okay? Okay, really quick, we're gonna have a brief message from Erica. Hey guys, do you feel like you self-sabotage when it comes to working out? If you do, you're not alone because that is something that I used to struggle with too. But I want you to take heart in the fact of knowing that you can get past that. My name is Erica Cruz and we are so stinking excited and pumped that you are taking this next level to your fitness goals and that you want to feel better spiritually, physically, and emotionally. I am excited because I am here to motivate you, to encourage you, to get you excited about moving your body because guess what? We have legs for a reason and we are meant to use them. And fitness has a way of helping you to feel better from the inside out. That's what it's done for me. I am somebody who used to weigh 375 and I've lost 220 pounds from my heaviest. And so I am here to tell you that you can do it too. And that is exactly what we do in my fitness classes. So right now, my fitness classes are all on Zoom. They are so much fun. And it's not just because I feel that way. It is because everybody who comes to class, they're like, oh my goodness, Erica, I needed that. Erica, this is exactly what we need to do. I was looking forward to this all day long. And so I wanna share with you some things that why I think my classes are special. And I wanna motivate you to get there too and to put all of your obstacles aside anything that's holding you back, whatever excuse may be that you can come up with, even down to doing your dishes, I want you to know that you can put all of that aside and come and do this with us. So for one, in my classes, it is a non-judgment zone. Everybody is there just to feel better about themselves. 
physically and emotionally. And so what it is I love about my classes is that everybody is so welcoming, that it is just so much fun. And they're just like, come on, we can do that. And I am mo there to motivate you every step of the way. Now, all of my classes are on Zoom. So the cool thing about that is no matter where you are, you can be in Timbuktu and you could still join my classes, which is awesome because you're able to get fit and healthy in the comfort of your own home. Now, a couple of things that keep in mind, a lot of people are like, ah, cameras, I don't know. I was this way actually before when they put, before they push play on this or record, but you can have your video on or off. No worries whatsoever. We just want you to get there and to get, get moving and get feeling better. Another thing that's awesome is that my fitness classes are for all levels. So I teach five different classes every, all week, every week all week, every week, um, five different classes, and they are a lot of fun. So they are for all different levels because I teach all different modifications. Actually, what I call them in classes is strengthifications because I want you to leave class feeling incredible, amazing, like you can conquer your day, take on the world, and feel your absolute best. So I call them strengthifications because when I was getting fit and healthy, I used to think modifications as like the weaker thing. And that's not the case at all. So we changed that word to strengthifications and no matter what your fitness level, you are gonna have a great time and you're gonna be able to feel better and coming out of class feeling stronger every single time. The next thing to keep in mind is that the variety of classes I teach. So. Monday is Zumba. We start the week off dancing, which is so much fun because Zumba is the gateway to fitness. It is a great way to feel better physically and emotionally, and you don't have to be a dancer. At least I wasn't when I started, um, and it teaches you how to move your body. So it is fitness dancing, and it is just a blast. It doesn't matter if you go left and I'm going right. We have a good time, and we laugh and just enjoy it. The next one is TBC class. This one, it makes you fight for it. But guess what? The fight is worth it because it's gonna change your body head to toe and make you feel the absolute best, physically and emotionally, again. The next class I teach is step class. Oh my goodness, I love this class. And the reason why is because you are using a step. Now, whether you have a step or don't have a step, it's okay, because you're gonna get the best benefit in this class, because we are moving your body one side at a time. So it's 30 minutes of step class, and then it's 15 minutes of stretch. And what's awesome about the stretch is that you're working on, working on flexibility and endurance and strength, so that way you can hit play the next time harder and stronger and get it happening. The next class I teach is TBC again on Saturday. So we end the week feeling strong and powerful and ready to conquer our next week. Now, something to keep in mind is that I know it can be intimidating to come to classes. Guys, I was there once myself and it's hard, but guess what? When you do what's hard first, life will be easier. So you need to get your booty to class so that way I can work it and we can have fun and you can get the best results absolutely possible. I can't wait to see you there. Okay, so let's talk about what you need to know about weight loss. Many of you out there are trying to lose weight and that's a great thing. Um, if you are, these are some things you need to keep in mind. First of all, remember, the goal with actual fat loss is about one to two pounds per week. You really can't burn much more fat than that. Now you can lose more weight than that, but that's gonna end up being that toxic fluid that you really need to get rid of anyway, so that's a good thing. But true fat burning is about one to two pounds a week. So if at the end of this you lose about six pounds, perfect. Um, and so uh, another thing though that you have to keep in mind is that if you gain muscle during the program, which if you're exercising, and you're doing the program correctly, you should be replacing fat with muscle. But muscle is heavy, it's dense. So if you actually do lose fat and gain muscle, don't be surprised if you gain a pound or two here and there. Don't focus on the pounds as much as the inches and how your clothes feel. And that's why it's so vital for you to be weighing yourself a couple times a week and measuring yourself uh, at least once a week. So just keep that in mind. Um, avoid grains and pseudo grains if you want to lose weight, okay? Also, try to limit your dairy because dairy can be higher in calories. Uh, limit fruit because fruit is sugar. It still breaks down into sugar. When you're eating sugar, your body's gonna burn that first before it actually burns fat. 
add a half to a full avocado per day, every single day, not only on the 21 day program, but thereafter so that your weight loss will continue because most people will continue to lose one to two pounds a week um, after the detox uh, until their liver gets sluggish again, which basically usually happens around three months after the first detox. That's why the second detox should be about three months after the first, then you can usually spread out to one or two per year. Uh, weigh yourself two times per week, but you only submit one a week, and it's the one at the end of the week that you're going to submit in the member section of the website. Now, why do you want to weigh twice a week? Because it helps us to tweak your program. If you're really struggling, you'll know, well, maybe you need to add protein earlier. Um, but if you're not weighing yourself, you're really not going to know what's going on. The other thing people do that really can be not really helpful for them is just not weighing themselves to the end because they don't want to focus on that. That's really not helpful. Don't weigh yourself every single day, but you do want to weigh yourself twice a week because otherwise you don't know how to tweak your program to get the maximum results. Measure yourself one time per week and submit it at the beginning of the program and the end of the program. You do not need to submit measurements in the middle of the program. The reason we want you to measure yourself is because you need to stay encouraged. And a lot of people, just because they don't see the scale moving, they think they're not losing weight. But really what they're doing is they're gaining muscle, losing fat, and if you measure yourself, you're gonna catch that, okay? And also you can add intermittent fasting to maximize your weight loss as well. But just remember, uh, there are certain people that can't do that. So uh, make sure you reference the other part of the video where we mention intermittent fasting in more detail. Don't add protein too early or too late. You really need to listen to your body. And don't add the animal protein if you continue to lose weight or inches. As long as you're feeling great, you're losing weight, you're losing inches, you know, keep doing what you're doing. It's only when it doesn't work anymore that you start to add the protein in. That's very, very important, okay? And add animal protein as soon as your weight loss stops, and that is a very important point. Exercise at least four times per week or more to keep the weight loss heading in the right direction, plus just to keep yourself healthy and to stimulate your lymphatic system to assist with the detox process. Include the apple cider vinegar drink, that really helps with weight loss. Use an infrared sauna if you have access to it, detox foot baths, colonics. Uh, that will increase your ability to release the toxins, which decreases the need for the fat, so then the fat cells can shrink. So anything that's gonna enhance uh, the detox process is great. Even a body brush, uh, doing dry brushing can be very helpful as well. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the supplements that are included in this program. You have the SP Complete, which is the shake. Uh, you should have two tubs of the flavored version, chocolate or vanilla, if you ordered that. However, if you ordered the plain shake, you will only get one. So if your friend ordered the flavored and you ordered the plain, don't think, oh my goodness, they didn't send me two tubs. You're only supposed to get one tub with the plain, two with the flavored. That's why you had to pay a little bit more for the flavored because you need twice as many scoops of the shake for the flavored version as you do for the unflavored, which we'll talk about in a little bit. One bottle of SP Cleanse, one bottle of Gastro Fiber, one bottle of SP Green Food. The supplement schedule for day one through seven is very different from day eight through 21. So please pay close attention because this is where people make a big mistake. They think they have to add all the supplements in from the beginning. The SP Cleanse product, you're doing seven capsules three times a day. Yes, that's 21 pills a day. That is not a mistake. 21 pills a day. I understand it's a lot. The good news is it's over after the first week, so you'll be fine. You're going to be taking smaller amounts more frequently if you have, say, a gastric bypass surgery or some type of weight loss surgery. The bottom line is as long as you get 21 pills a day by the end of the day, it's okay. So if you can't eat larger amounts of food or the supplements just really fill you and they make you feel sick because there's so many, just do um, six doses a day instead of three, but just make sure you get 21 of them by the end of the day. And it is your responsibility to make sure that the SP Cleanse product, which is the only one that contains herbs that could interact with medications, it's your responsibility to make sure that it's safe for you. The good news is there's very few things, hardly any, uh, that interact 
With this product, obviously if you've had an organ replacement and you're on anti-rejection medication, that you cannot do the detox. Um, and then there's certain types of blood thinners like Coumadin where if you are doing it, your doctor has to agree to check your blood more frequently because this program naturally thins your blood um, where the drug is forcing it to be thinned. Um, and again, you know, it's just your responsibility. There are some medications, but very infrequent, but it is your responsibility to check for that. And you can find out on our website how to do that, like I mentioned earlier. And please continue any supplements your nutritionist or your nutritional practitioner um, has recommended for you to take on a regular basis. Now, if it gets to be too much, you can reach out to your personal practitioner and see if maybe they think there's something you can cut back on, but please don't do that on your own and definitely do not cut out medications either. That could be very, very dangerous. Gastro fiber. So that supplement, you're doing two capsules three times a day, so that's six additional pills for the gastro fiber. And the shakes, you're doing two shakes a day. And you're gonna take the shake until it's gone. By the end of this program, you should not have anything left. Just keep taking everything until it's gone. Now, with the SP Complete, plain version, you will most likely run out of shake around day 19, and that's okay. Just take everything until it's gone. Uh, now, with the unflavored version, that's the plain shake, you're doing two rounded scoops. That's important, heaping rounded scoops in your shake each time you make a shake. So by the end of the day, you should have used four scoops total, all right, in the two different shakes. So two scoops per shake, add some fruit to give it some flavor. Now, people like to add banana to the shake. Banana is very high in sugar. So if you're gonna add it, add the least amount possible, maybe a quarter of a banana. If you have to do a half, please don't throw a whole banana in. That would be a lot of sugar, especially if you're trying to lose weight. And if you're diabetic, you have no business eating you know, much fruit at all, especially a banana, which is very high in sugar. Now with the flavored shake, the chocolate or vanilla, you're doing four scoops per shake, okay? This is why you have to purchase an additional tub of the flavored shake. That's why you had to pay extra because you do twice as many scoops because obviously that chocolate flavor or that vanilla flavor takes up space and you still need to get the same amount of nutrients so you need to do double the scoops. So don't get that confused. The flavored shake is four rounded or heaping scoops per shake uh, and you're gonna do that two times per day. Um, and for both versions of shake, you're gonna add about eight ounces of water. Just increase it or decrease it for the desired texture. Um, if people ever don't like the shake, it's because of the texture, and it's usually because they just don't add enough water or they add too much water and it's too watery. So just play with it and find out what you actually like. If you want, you can add some oil to it, but some people can't tolerate the oil taste, but it is a good way to get some extra oils. If you don't mind it, you can add some flax, avocado, MCT, or coconut. Um, and But again, you don't have to do that if it grosses you out, and I can totally understand that. All right, for the flavor, excuse me, for the unflavored shake, so the plain shake, you're gonna add about a cup and a half um, of fresh fruit. Now, again, least amount of fruit possible. You can use frozen fruit, which a lot of people like to do because then it makes it more like a frozen treat. Um, but again, just, if you can add vegetables, that would be fantastic, but try to add the least amount of fruit possible so you're not loading up on the sugar. Now, day eight through 21, you're gonna continue on with the shakes, you're gonna continue on with the gastro fiber, you're doing two capsules three times a day from, eight, from day eight to 21, but now you're gonna be switching from the SP cleanse over to the SP green food. The green food, you're gonna do five capsules two times a day. So you're no longer doing the SP cleanse. You may have like three or four capsules left. Just take it until it's gone. So for like a day, you might be taking some SP cleanse with some SP green food, but on day eight, it's important to start including the SP green food. You're doing five capsules two times a day. And of course the shakes, you're gonna continue to a day until they're gone and keep taking all your supplements till they're gone. Now. Intermittent fasting is something that is optional that you can add into the detox. If you're trying to lose weight, we did a, a little study, it wasn't a professional study, but we found that people lost a couple extra pounds by including the intermittent fasting. So again, this is optional, but let's talk about what intermittent fasting is. 
With intermittent fasting, you're not gonna eat for about three to five hours before you go to bed. For example, your last meal is about, say, six o'clock at night. You're gonna start by with phase one. If you've never intermittent fasted before, you're not gonna just jump in and you know do this crazy long fast. What you're gonna do is start with a 12 hour fasting window. That means your last meal is 6 p.m. at night. You can eat again at six in the morning. That's pretty easy for most people. Phase two goes to 14 hour fasting period. You can eat again at 8 a.m. if your last meal was 6 p.m. And then phase three is 16 hours, which is uh, basically an optimal fasting time and you can eat at 10 a.m. So remember for intermittent fasting you can't take supplements, you can't take the shakes, um, there are certain things uh, that you can have and you can look those up on the internet to see what you can have with intermittent fasting, water and different things like that, but just make sure it's stuff you can actually have on the detox. But really the idea is to uh, give your body time for healing because if you're digesting, you're taking all of that energy to put toward digestion instead of toward healing. But you cannot intermittent fast if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, which obviously you can't detox anyway. If you're a type one diabetic, it is not recommended. Type two diabetic is usually okay, but if you're not sure, just ask your medical doctor just to be safe. Um, but you do have to check your blood sugar multiple times a day, which you have to anyway. If you're diabetic or you have high blood pressure, you need to be taking your blood pressure or your blood sugar twice a day, especially that first week, because it's very possible that your blood sugar could go up or go down, and we can help you with anything that can happen, but you have to know what's going on. The problems occur when people get caught off guard. So if you're watching your blood sugar or your blood pressure and you're seeing it's going down, 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 you know, hey, I need to reach out to the detox docs and or if it's really low, I need to reach out to my medical doctor and I have to find out what I need to do because very often on this program, people need to decrease or even eliminate blood sugar or blood pressure medication because it'll start going too low. And the biggest thing is you don't wanna end up crashing your car, hurting yourself or someone else because unexpectedly and abruptly your blood sugar or your blood pressure drops. So please don't be foolish. It is your responsibility to make sure you're checking your blood sugar and blood pressure every single day, the entire 21 days, if you have these problems, especially if you're on medication and immediately reach out to your medical doctor to lower your medication if you're having an issue, um, but that's something you have to speak to them about. Um, we have videos in the Frequently Asked Questions section about these topics that you can reference, and it'll give you some feedback. If your blood pressure or blood sugar starts going up on the detox, reach out and let us know, and we can make certain recommendations about that. Again, we have videos for this as well. Sometimes by adding certain supplementation, that will decrease some of the stress off your body and can help to alleviate these issues. But again, uh, just keep in touch with us and we can help direct you in that way. Um, but when it comes to medication, you need to speak to your medical doctor. So anyway, so basically just remember no intermittent fasting for type one diabetics, children, you must check with your doctor before doing it. So really quick, I wanna talk about the benefits of intermittent fasting. I'm just gonna bang through them really quick. Increased basal metabolic rate. What does that mean? Increased metabolism. What does that mean? Increased weight loss, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, decrease insulin or insulin resistance, which means you decrease your risk of diabetes and prediabetes, improve fat burning, increased energy and improved thyroid function, increased growth hormone, uh, which is the hormone of youth, uh, which basically helps with lean muscle mass, helps you look younger, short and long-term weight loss, improved digestion, reduce cravings and increase uh, satiety or feeling full. Increase autophagy, which is cell recycling. It's where the body attacks bad cells that are mutating and, and that are unhealthy. Um, and all of this information was taken from these uh, books below, written by some medical doctors and different type of practitioners. Um, so if you're interested in any of those books, you can certainly reference those. Those are not our words, they're their words. Um, continuing on, decrease inflammation, decrease pain, improve healing, improve sleep, improve mood, decrease stress, decrease anxiety, increase mental clarity and focus, uh, increase immune function, helps the body to combat cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease. Again, these are not my words. These are medical doctors that have written these books, 
not my words. Improved health and vitality and improved detoxification, which is awesome, okay? Uh, so let's talk about some of the other things that are required on the program. First of all, you must take pre and post pictures. These are really important for you. Okay. Now you don't necessarily have to allow us to use them in a future testimonial when you've totally transformed your life with our program, but that would be pretty cool too. But do it for yourself. And we have a place on the website that you will uh, be able to upload those. You must weigh and measure yourself. Now guys, when I say you must, this is basically to get the best results because we're not only you know trying to see who's going to win this contest which all this information is going to be important for us to be able to pick the winner and so you can't participate in the actual contest if you don't do all of these things but it's important for you to see the benefits of your efforts sometimes people get to the end and they think they didn't lose any weight but yes they lost yet they lost like four inches and they get frustrated but if they had that information they would know so you have to do this before you start start and don't do it three days in because a lot happens in that first three days so you must measure and weigh yourself and submit it on the website uh, in the the portal that is provided there you'll see that when you go in there um, the other thing that's very important is at the end of every week it is an absolute requirement that you go in and you fill out our weekly detox evaluation form. This is the only way we are going to be able to monitor how you're doing. And so what happens is when we see you're struggling with something, if we feel it's necessary, we're gonna reach out to you and see if you're doing okay. Um, and But if you don't fill this out, we can't help you. So go to the members only section, you'll see the weekly detox evaluation form. And in a little bit, I'm gonna go through the dates, uh, important dates for you to remember, and you're gonna jot down when these things are due and we're also going to have it posted in the members only section as well and also at the end of the program there's a required progress report which basically explains to us how you benefited from the program so we can make sure that you got awesome results logging your weight is done by going to the website click members only page and there's a weight loss analysis form that you're going to fill out okay um, the additional helpful products. We have the tuna omega oil, um, which is very, very helpful. Uh, this basically is essential oils and it's DHA and EPA in a unique and uh, naturally occurring five to one ratio, which is really important. So that's something you can add in. Just ask your practitioner, whoever referred you to the program, and you can purchase this from them. We highly recommend you adding this in if you're trying to lose weight, for sure. Um, sugar cravings. Uh, gymnema is an herb that you can add in that helps with sugar cravings. Again, you'd have to check for drug interactions, but it's very good for diabetics, for people that are really craving sugar. Another thing you can add in are the detox foot baths. Now let me go through and explain to you how these work. They're actually very relaxing, but some people look at it as kind of hokey, but there's actually a science behind it. So this is how it works. A small direct current is put into the array. When the current interacts with the metals in the array, the salt and the water, because we add a little salt to the water, and the water molecule splits into oxygen and hydrogen, as you can see over here, resulting in positively and negatively charged ions. This process is called the electrolysis of water for all you science geeks out there. And what happens is you actually see the hydrogen and oxygen start to smoke off the array. So it actually looks like a little bit of smoke coming off of it, which is super cool. And what happens is the ions neutralize charged particles in the body and these particles are pulled out by the skin via diffusion and osmosis. This involves the movement of particles through a membrane from a lower to a higher concentration. The higher concentration is created by the ion field from the array in the water. And so that's the science behind how this actually works. It's not hokey, there's actually science. As the ions interact with the toxins pulled from the body, the water color will change. Even without your body in the water, the ions will change with the impurities that are actually in the water itself and will cause a minor color change. But there's different colors that the manufacturer themselves says is associated with different types of toxins. Now, we're not gonna get into all of that, and that's just according to the manufacturer. But what I do know is people that include these with their detox programs get better results. They feel better quicker, less detox symptoms, and so on. Okay, so keep in mind that with the detox foot baths, the ideal scene is to do two of these 
each week that you're on the program. Uh, and many of the practitioners are offering one free session for you to just try it out and are also offering discounted packages. Now, if you're in the Oneonta area, we will certainly do that. If you've never done a detox foot bath, we would be happy to give you one free session. They're about 20 minutes long. They're in a private room. Um, obviously, we sanitize and clean uh, according to the standards that, that we have to hold uh, in our medical facility, and all of the other practitioners do the same. So uh, just keep in mind that not, not all of them are offering these options, but a lot of them are. So just call the local practitioner closest to you that offers these services, and you can find out whether they're willing to give you a free uh, session to try it out um, and if they have discounted packages. Again, in the Oneonta area, we will certainly do that, but we can only do it, you know, if you've never tried it before, it's not for everybody. Okay, let's talk about some of the practitioners that are offering the detox foot baths. Dr. Gregory Kropf from Kropf Chiropractic and Wellness in Monroe County, Rochester. Cindy Davis from the Natural Health Improvement Center of Cortland. Dr. Cruz Howe from Howe Chiropractic and Westside Wellness in the Syracuse area. Dr. Maria Zalone and Dr. Kevin Summer uh, at Perinton Hills Chiropractic in the East Rochester area. And Dr. Reggie Bonig from Red Hook Family Chiropractic in the Red Hook area. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with Kingston. That's the same uh, general area there in New York. So these are some of the practitioners that are offering uh, the detox foot baths. I also want you to consider possibly adding some colon hydrotherapy with your detox program. Um, and basically in a minute here, I'm going to have a brief video from our colon hydrotherapist. Her name is Joanne and she runs the Invisible Thread here in Oneonta, New York. Um, so if you're in this area, you can reach out to her. She offers some discounted pricing during these events for us. You can also go to www.i-act.org forward slash find dash a dash therapist. We will put this on our website um, so you can access it, but this is how you can find a colon hydrotherapist in an area near you. Um, and now we're going to give you a little message from Joanne from the Invisible Thread. Hi, my name is Joanne Kudrevich. I am a registered nurse. I'm also certified in Ayurvedic medicine. I'm a certified personal trainer for more than 25 years. And I have a wellness practice here on Southside Chiropractic. Dr. Shirley and Dr. Joe asked me to speak to you a little bit today about elimination, especially as it relates to detoxification, and those are two of my most favorite topics. So I, I am bringing this information to you as people who are caring about your health, who are making a conscious effort to do something to improve your health, and who are engaged in or about to engage in the process of detoxification. So why is elimination important and why am I here to speak about it? Well, I am a certified, I did not mention, colon hydrotherapist. For those of you who don't know what that means, it basically means what it sounds like, that we use water to cleanse the colon. And the reason why this is so important, especially when you're detoxing, is that what we're trying to elicit in the detoxification process is the removal of toxins from our tissues, from our joints, from our body, and to bring it into the digestive system and then eliminate it. The colon is one of seven elimination channels that we have in the body, and our bodies eliminate and detox on a daily basis. And if they're not, we're gonna get very sick and we won't be able to survive. So the fact that we're taking time to assist the body in this process means that we're digging deeper than the usual day-to-day -day practice in order to make a dramatic change in our health. So when I speak about colon hydrotherapy, I'm going to show you this chart. This is a picture of a healthy colon. The colon is about five feet long and about two and a half inches wide. And just to go through basic uh, digestive system process, we eat, hopefully we chew our food well, goes down the esophagus to the stomach. In the stomach, hydrochloric acid, assuming we have enough, starts to break down, especially proteins. And then that, what's left, goes through the small intestine. And we have 23 feet of small intestine that wrap around in here like this. That's where most digestion happens. The result of that, the end product of that, is our waste, which then ends up in the colon, here on the right side, and it's meant to move up, across, down, and out. Now, I always speak about 
people's elimination about pooping and ask what is your daily practice. Some people go every morning like clockwork, others may not go for days. If you're not going after every single meal, then to some extent you could be considered, by my terms, constipated because every time you eat, you're making waste and the body needs to eliminate that. As we're, as we're initiating this detoxification process, more waste is going to end up in the colon. And if it's not functioning optimally, then we're going to re, we have the opportunity to create an auto intoxication process where the body reintroduces those toxins back into the bloodstream and makes us sicker or more toxic. So the idea is during a session with me, which is very private and very discreet, um, you're laying very comfortably on a table, we get relaxed, we use essential oils, we use music. And it is actually to some, to very many people, a relaxing experience, believe it or not. Uh, we insert a speculum into the anus, and from there, there's a tube that introduces water into the colon. And then when we release, the colon releases the waste. So it's really a process of just hydrating the colon. Many people's colons are, are dehydrated. It's a process of eliminating gas, which can cause impaction and constipation, eliminating pathogens, eliminating toxins, and eliminating waste. So I'm here to offer you guys the opportunity to see me here on the campus for some of these sessions. Dr. Joe and Dr. Shirley recommend three sessions during the three-week uh, detoxification process or program that you're working with them on. Two typically in the first seven to ten days, and then one towards the end. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to explain it on a more personal level, depending on your own needs and issues. And you can reach me either here through Southside Chiropractic or on my cell by text or phone at 917-969-0545. Good luck with everything. Okay, now we're going to talk about how to set you up for success. So. Make sure you've joined our online community support Facebook page. This is a closed Facebook page called Transform in 21 Community Support. This is where you're going to post your questions. This is where the detox ambassadors are going to be supporting you and the coaches will be there answering questions, encouraging you. Please make sure you have uh, asked to join this. You have to answer some membership questions and then we will accept you into the program. Uh, follow us on Transform in 21 Detox on the following social media sites to make sure you get the best results and all the tools that you'll need to be successful. Now, if you don't do social media in general, um, I do understand that. Uh, you still can participate, but this definitely makes it more fun and enjoyable, and you can get a, a few more resources uh, that will be very very helpful. So the Transform in 21 Detox Facebook page, we're gonna be posting daily detox recipes, detox desserts on Fridays, give support, build community and share your journey with others. We encourage you to be sharing your journey on your personal Facebook page um, using the hashtag transform in 21 because we want people to see the new you and encourage other people to make positive changes in their lives as well. YouTube, uh, our YouTube channel is transform in 21. And we also have our Southside Chiropractic uh, Facebook page and uh, YouTube channel, which we have a lot of uh, different daily videos and recipes and different things that we have throughout the year as well. So please feel free to follow us on those as well. And then on Instagram, we have, uh, we're at Transform in 21 Detox. And again, post everything with hashtag Transform in 21. I want to see pictures of your foot baths. I want to see pictures of your meals, your shape you exercising, um, all different kinds of cool aspects, your supplements, do all kinds of fun things, guys. Enjoy this. Make it fun. And we have our Pinterest page. Uh, that's Transform in 21 Detox, and we're going to have boards with lots of different recipes, uh, both for during the detox and after detoxing as well. So log into the members only tab of the Detox with the Docs website and you'll find all kinds of helpful resources. We have uh, sample menus, our standard process cookbook. Uh, we have different cooking apps that can make your life easier. We have all different kinds of videos. Um, and remember guys, when you get to the end of the program, we'll have lots of other uh, resources on the website as well to help you with that. But when you get to the end of the program, 
Keep eating well. Don't just stop and be like, okay, I'm gonna go back to eating fast food three times a day. No, try to maintain these results. And we're gonna, at the end, we're gonna have the end of the detox celebration and we're gonna go through how to keep being healthy. Slowly introduce foods, if at all. So if you went without dairy on the program, then you start to introduce dairy and you don't feel well, then you're gonna know that you have a sensitivity to dairy. You've gone gluten-free for 21 days because this program does not include gluten at all. And all of a sudden you add gluten, you blow it up like crazy, you know that that's not your friend. Look for adverse reactions and don't add those foods back in if they bother you. Okay, dates to remember. These are some very important dates that you need to write down. Get a pen, get out your phone. We will have them listed in the members only section of the website, but you need to know these important dates or you're gonna miss some important things. All right, January 20th. First of all, this is the day before you start the detox. Take your pre-detox photo and submit it on the website. Weigh yourself, submit it on the website. Take your measurements, submit it on the website. I don't recommend doing this in the morning on your first day because you're gonna be overwhelmed the first day trying to figure everything out. Do it the day before. January 21st, the new you begins. Yay, it's gonna be very, very exciting. January 27th is when the first weekly detox evaluation form is due. This is how we check in on you to make sure you're doing well and you're doing as expected. If you answer these questions and something comes back in like that's a red flag, we will reach out to you. Um, but of course, if you're having trouble, you can reach out to us as well. But please fill these forms out completely. Read the instructions carefully. We will be talking to you and asking you to rate how you're feeling on a certain scale. Make sure you read the scale carefully because if you put the wrong numbers in, we're gonna be calling you to see what's going on when you're actually feeling fantastic. Please, there's a lot of people that will need our assistance. Make sure you read the instructions carefully to avoid all of those extra calls that are not necessary. Remember, the weekly detox evaluations are mandatory because they allow us to monitor your progress. You cannot win prizes if you do not complete these and all of the other required tasks, such as the pre and post photos, the weigh-ins, the measurements, the weekly forms, and the end of the detox progress report. Guys, I can't emphasize enough, these are important. Even if you don't wanna compete in the program, it's important for us to help you get the best results, fill them out. February 2nd is Dr. Shirley's birthday, yay! It's also Groundhog's Day, uh, but I just figured I'd throw that in there, so be extra nice to me on February 2nd, okay? Don't make me work extra hard. February 3rd, I'm just kidding by the way. February 3rd, second weekly detox evaluations for, form is due. February 9th, the third weekly detox evaluation is due. February 10th is the last day of the detox, yay! And then February 11th, you have to take your post detox photo, but you have to do this before you eat anything because you don't wanna like eat a huge meal and then all of a sudden you weigh yourself and you know you gained a couple pounds or something because you went crazy, hopefully not, but make sure you do this before you eat the next day. Take your post detox photo, submit, submit it on the website. Take your last weigh in, submit it on the website. Measurements, submit it on the website, and then your progress report is due, and that you'll have a link for that on the members only section when the time comes, and you'll just answer the questions and it will create a progress report for you. And most important, February 16th, mark your calendar. That is the end of the detox Facebook Live celebration party that we will have in on the Transform in 21. Facebook page at 7 p.m. and we're gonna allow you to submit videos and different things that we can actually uh, play during the Facebook Live. So we're really excited about that. For those of you that would like to share your testimonials and show how awesomely transform your life has become. So let's talk about chances to win with the prizes. So what's up for grabs? We've got the Detox King or Queen Award. Yay, let's see who's gonna win this year and our social media superstar award. So let's talk about those. And we are also gonna give numerous acknowledgement awards as well, so uh, maybe you receive one of those. There's gonna be lots of those. So guys, you're gonna have plenty of chances to be acknowledged and to, be, to win if you would like that. So let's talk about the Detox King or Queen. The 
whoever wins, the detox king or queen, will receive, we're only gonna pick one, a free detox kit and a spot in the next May, June Transform in 21 event. Now, after your first detox, you should detox again in three months. So pretty much all of you should be detoxing again in June. Then after that, you can go to once or twice a year. Um, so you're gonna get a free spot in that, including the kit and everything. That's worth $249. And you're gonna get a Ninja Blender worth over $100. And one month free uh, fitness classes with Erica online. So that's a $50 value. So the Detox King or Queen gets a $399 prize package. Then our social media superstar is basically the person who shares their journey the most on their personal Facebook and Instagram pages. Remember guys, this is a secret we don't wanna keep to ourselves. There are thousands of people that have transformed their health with our program and we want thousands of more. We want everybody to have the opportunity to feel as good as you are going to in as little as 21 days. And so please guys, share this. Let people be encouraged and receive hope. Um, we need hope in our lives. It what, it's what keeps us going. So share your journey and show people how this is changing your life so they can change their lives as well. And so the person who wins the social media award is who really shares their journey the most on their pages, sharing and liking and commenting and posting pictures. And this is not just in the closed Facebook page. We want you to be active there too, but this is out where everybody can see it on your personal page, on our public Transform in 21 page, or on our Southside Health and Wellness Campus page. And use the hashtag Transform in 21 when you're posting things. And the winner of this gets a Ninja Blender worth over $100 and a free month of online fitness classes with Erica, so that's $150 value. So if you can't begin the program on the official start date, if you are participating in the group program, you may still participate in the program. So remember, you only have to start on time and be done by a certain time if you wanna participate in the contest. If you don't care about the contest, you can start anytime. We do these programs all year round. We do uh, individualized programs and we do group programs. And all participants must be done by the end of the detox celebration to be considered for the prizes. So actually you have to be done a couple days before, but we'll post that date in our members only section. Uh, you do not have to participate in the contest to participate in the program, but to win the prizes, you have to be 18 years old. Um, so make sure you've done your paperwork that asks you know, different medical types of questions. Um, most of you that did it online will definitely have filled that out, but if you filled out locally here in our office in Oneonta, um, make sure you've definitely filled that out before we begin. And right now, guys, your job is to stay motivated. You need to stay focused on what you're gonna do. This is an amazing journey you're about to embark on, and it is gonna drastically change your life, but you gotta stay motivated. And how we're gonna do that is by connecting you with your why, which is your reason why you are going to commit the next 21 days to transforming your health. It's not just about you, it's about your family that you wanna be around and you wanna be healthy to be able to to enjoy them. It's for your future generations because you wanna make sure the genes you're passing down to your kids and your grandkids are gonna be healthier genes. So stay motivated. I want you to think about why does getting healthier and improving your life matter to you? What is your most powerful motivation? And I want you right now, after you watch this video, go to the closed Facebook group and I want you to share a picture of your motivation. And if you're not comfortable sharing a picture, please at least write what your why is. Why are you doing this? Do you want to live longer? Do you want to be healthier? Do you want to fit in that pair of skinny jeans you fit into once before? What is your why? And post it. And make sure you take a post-it note or something like that, piece of paper, put it on your mirror where you're getting ready in the morning so you can stare at that every single day. So when you have a day where you're struggling, which you'll have a day here and there, you're gonna remember why you're doing this. And the most important thing to keep you motivated is the why. This has to be a must for you or it's not gonna work. If you just think, well, I should get healthy, I should do this, you're not going to do it. That, you're giving yourself an out with that. When you say, I must 
do this, that's how you're actually committing and you're going to be very, very successful. So print an image that represents your why so you can have that with you at all times in the morning on your mirror, in your pocket. So when you're struggling and you want that candy bar or you want fast food, you look at that and you say, nope, this is much more important than that. Okay? So that's what you need to do right now. And you need to remember, guys, that failure is not an option. I am going to do everything that I can over this next 21 days to help transform your life, but you have to do it too. I can't want it more than you, um, and I want it pretty bad, so you better want it pretty bad. So this has been awesome. Thank you so much, guys, and I am so proud of all of you, and I look forward to helping you transform your, your life and your health, and just stay focused, and you're going to do great. Thank you so much.